All right, Brian Stump for Student Sports here with Jordan Palmer at the Washington, D.C. Elite 11 Regional. Uh, Jordan, great group today. A lot of quarterbacks from the Atlantic East, Northeast region coming out today to compete and participate. Um, off the top of your head, who are, who are a couple guys that really stood out to you as you went through the evaluation process today? We know Jacob Park was the guy that we had targeted early on. He had phenomenal film and uh, had big play potential. Also has the frame to be able to be, a, you know, as we look for an NFL caliber guy who also has the ability to dominate the next level. Uh, but then a guy like Andrew Ford came out, the lefty, um, could spin it. We had a little bit of wind today, so it was good to see guys make some throws with the wind. Um, and uh, in my opinion, the, the stars of the show were the underclassmen. There were some younger guys today who stepped up and uh, let one big year between sophomore and junior. Didn't let that get in the way of anything. Yeah, a couple guys out of New Jersey, as you mentioned, the underclassmen, uh, with Brandon Wimbush from St. Peter's Prep and then Jared Garantino from Bergen Catholic. What, what specifically kind of stood out about these two guys from New Jersey? I think physically it was you had to convince me that they weren't seniors, uh, one. And, and also this the maturity of them to be able to come into this thing, take it like it's their drill, um, like it's their show, and, and, uh, and not let anybody get in the way. And, and uh, it was we saw, I think, as much competitiveness uh, and much competition this week than we've seen out of any other. And that was exciting to see because, in my opinion, as a quarterback, that's that's uh, one of the most important traits that you can have. And a lot of the guys in DC today have that. Yeah, one other player we had in the in the final uh, showdown competition, William Crest from Baltimore Dunbar. Uh, talk a little bit about William and what you think of him and his potential at the next level. Well, when you watch this film, he's playing at a different speed than everybody else. Um, part of that's the, the competition, and part of that's because of where he's at physically. Um, but then when we put him in the drills, we really slowed it down and focused on the mechanics. He's he's a guy who's um, got a little bit of a learning curve on the mechanics, but a couple of things we threw at him today, it came very natural. So a kid that coachable and that athletic has a really, really high ceiling. I'm excited to see what's going to happen with him in West Virginia. And finally, another top performer we had here today. Uh, a lot of Tar Heel fans are probably interested to hear your thoughts on Caleb Henderson. Caleb Henderson has a really, really high ceiling. I mean, and physically, he's got the frame that you look for. Um, now, in terms of mechanics, there's some things that are going to allow him to even progress more over the next year. Um, I think that he sees them, and this is such a great playing field for them to come out and make comparisons where they're at and where the other guys are. And I think Caleb came out today and, and solidified himself as being one of the top guys and being a contender for the finals, but at the same time can actually walk away with some things that will even help his game take the next step. And uh, I think a kid that coachable with that frame again is, is, uh, has a really high ceiling. So no finalist name from today's Washington, D.C. Elite 11 Regional. We'll be back tomorrow at the Nike football training camp and uh, see if top quarterback emerges. From Brian Stumpf, uh, Student Sports, signing off here from Washington, D.C.